once I took them out of the box, I felt like, yeah, this shoe uh, is is the best shoe I've ever seen in terms of. Yeah. Hello, welcome to another review. I'm Tennis Rally, and today I will be reviewing not a racket, not a string. I will be reviewing a shoe. So with me today, I have the newest Babolat Pro Pulse Fury 3. Uh, as I said, from Babolat, uh, it's a new shoe on the market releasing uh, this year. Uh, and I am actually extremely surprised uh, on how they updated the shoe and how it's performing on the courts. So I have actually used the previous version of this shoe. Uh, I have it with me here. Uh, the Pro Pulse Fury. Two, uh, if the new one is the three, I guess this is the two. So, as we can see, they're not alike. I would say it's it's almost a new shoe completely. I can see some features that are equal or the same, but I would say that the design and the shoe uh, is completely renewed, uh, which is positive. It's not anything uh, that I will complain of because. As I said, I'm extremely surprised on how this new shoe is performing. I think we can start with the flaws I thought that the previous shoe had. For me, I usually slide on hard court, so I tend to break my shoes quite often. Uh, so there's not a lot of shoes that really is durable enough, I would say. Uh, at the moment, I use the A6 Yell Resolution 8. Uh, but I have my troubles with them as well. Uh, so the main trouble is on the medial side of the shoe, the inside. Uh, I tend to break because when I slide I go uh, vertical like this. So I always break them here on the side. Uh, and some shoes have a bit of protection on the medial side. Uh, but I wouldn't say it's enough. It usually breaks in one or two weeks. Uh, when the outsole can last uh, six months. So. Uh, that is the main area of issue for me. Uh, and then on the, this old Pro Pulse, also was some breakage here on the outside of the toe uh, when I drag my, my toes. Uh, so this guard here didn't really protect all the way, uh, I would say. Um, so that's also an issue. Otherwise, the, the sole, great durability, great for sliding. You can see these kind of tracks here, help with sliding. Uh, it's a Michelin rubber uh, material, so it's really durable. Uh, and that's one thing that they kept on the new shoe. Uh, it's the, almost the same identical outsole, uh, which is great. Great durability, great for sliding, as I said. Uh, but the update, Mainly for me, that is the most uh, important is the medial side. They cover up the laces, so you can see. So when sliding, you don't break the laces. Uh, as in other shoes, uh, the laces tend to break uh, on the outside here. So uh, we have lace protection. We have more uh, durability, more rubber on the medial side that will protect the shoe. Uh, the toe is a bit similar, so there's a bit of wear on the on the toe here, uh, but I would say that it's holding up pretty well. So compared to the old version, this might be a little bit higher off the ground, and I would say it's definitely more durable, uh, more comfortable to me. Uh, one thing that is common with bablet shoes, uh, at least with this and old, that I've noticed is that they tend to be, when you put the foot in, it feels like they tilt inwards a bit. Uh, but I have my custom made soles, so it wasn't a problem. Uh, but that can be one thing you notice when you put your foot right away, you can feel like your foot is a bit tilted towards uh, uh, the middle, uh, towards the inside. Uh, and that can be something you have to get used to, but it's nothing that's gonna make you play worse tennis. So if you have problems with your foot uh, and so on, uh, be aware of this uh, because it can cause problems uh, in the future. Uh, 
One feature that I really like about the shoe is the same feature that ASIC uses in their Resolution 8. Uh, ASICs have this Dyna wall, uh, which is supposed to stabilize when going vertical. And there's a new Resolution 9 coming, uh, where they have improved this even further. But the Pro Pulse Fury has the same kind of technology with this uh, plastic platform uh, on the side of the shoe, which helps to stabilize uh, on vertical movements. So when you are out uh, in the corners and try to recover, uh, you feel like it's a stable impact when pushing away from the ground. So we can see here on the shoe, I have uh, repaired them many times uh, with a kind of rubber mix. Uh, because they simply don't hold up. Uh, switch laces a couple of times uh, when going vertical. Uh, it's hard to, to not uh, drag uh, the shoelaces on the ground as well. So if we take this shoe, we can see that there's no possible way to, to really break the laces. Uh, and uh, this, seems to hold up quite well uh, of course you can put like the outsole uh, on the side so i think this is as good as it can get uh, because it's still pretty thick on the side here um, and so definitely a plus from uh, from bubblet so that will be all for this shoe review i hope you enjoyed it there will come more shoe reviews in the future as well uh, so it's not only strings and rackets on this channel uh, it's shoes as well and i tend to be pretty harsh on my shoes uh, so there's definitely an honest review when it comes to that because i'm quite picky uh, i used the gel resolution 8 for two years uh, and i think i tried every uh, durable option and uh, the resolution 8 is the only option that i can i can live with actually so uh, so now i think i have a new contender this might be my new shoe actually uh, that i will be using in the future uh, this seems to be holding every test that i have uh, that i can put them through i noticed once i took them out of the box i felt like yeah this shoe uh, is is the best shoe i've ever seen in terms of yeah, different aspects uh, that they have uh, in the design and the outsole and everything. Uh, so a big thank you to Tennis Warehouse for sending me these shoes uh, and I hope I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day. Bye.